that is not viable because if you do that for every single client you meet, you will not survive. When you've got a startup, you've got to spend most of your time and resources on building the business. Owners and developers don't necessarily like to pay for those technological solutions, at least yet. With their expertise and efforts, the Hong Kong PropTech Association has been making strides in Hong Kong's PropTech space. Today on Insights, we chat with Akina, Ariel, and Alex from the Hong Kong PropTech Association's Proof of Concept Committee, discovering how they bridge the gap between PropTech solution providers and big property developers. Before we begin, remember to hit like and subscribe because we've got the property information you need. Hi, my name is Akina Ho. I'm Head of Digital Transformation Innovation at the Great Eagle Group also on the board of Hong Kong Property Association and also chairing the Proof of Concept Committee. My name is Ariel Starkman. I'm the founder of Orca Capital. I primarily focus on investing in real estate and most recently PropTech. And in the last three years, I've been very active as an angel investor in the PropTech space. My name is Alexander Bent. I'm co-founder and managing partner of Undivided Ventures. What do you do at Hong Kong PropTech Association? I co-chair the Solutions Committee. So I am the co-chair of the Hong Kong PropTech Association Proof of Concept Committee, focusing on the client side. Basically, developers and owners of real estate who want to introduce PropTech solutions into their businesses. What is the Hong Kong PropTech Association? Hong Kong PropTech Association is actually a non-profit organization trying to bridge together PropTech solutions with PropTech uh, clients who are looking for solutions. What problems do PropTech solution providers face? Normally, startups will spend about 9 to 18 months to find a client and pitch to them and do POC testing and stuff. That is not viable because if you do that for every single client you meet, you will not survive because startups' lifetime is only three to six months long. Most uh, technology providers or companies, one of the pain points that they have is that they are unable to get access to uh, the larger developers and also the larger funds and institutions. And the PTA is, is helping to bridge that gap. They're helping to bridge the, that gap for developers to get access to technologies and also for technology companies to get access to developers and institutions and funds. How does the Proof of Concept Committee help PropTech solution providers? So the journey in, uh, for, for this particular uh, solution is first of all to obviously become a member of the PTA and then off the back of that, work with our team to actually present their particular company and their technology. We will then use our framework to qualify that company, work with that company, possibly to help them put together the right kind of pitch for the developer and the client, and then move it up the chain to the client committee. If you're a company that has a technology solution, uh, you're gonna spend a lot of time running around trying to find the right kind of developer trying to tailor your particular pitch to that developer. And when you've got a startup, you've got to spend most of your time and resources on building the business. So what the PTA likes to do and can do for a company is to really help that company look at the pain points, look at the areas that they need to focus on, help them align their pitch. And if they're good enough, then bring them up to the client committee, which can then introduce them to developers. So number one, when we work with solution providers, we actually help them do evaluation, testing of the product, and then we help them consolidate and build a summary, which is less than five minutes, of including a video for the client. So the clients can view a solution within minutes before they select a possible solution for proof concept. How can product solution providers benefit? Within the committee, we have people who are, have expertise on startups. They have expertise in real estate. And so the committee is a first benefit, can help the company actually talk to them about what some of the pain points are for the developer. So you're gonna save time. The other benefit is we have a network. We have a very strong network of developers, funds, institutions who are looking for this type of technology. So you're gonna save time by networking. You're gonna save time by actually coming through us and meeting the right kind of folks who can help with your POC product. What problems do developers or clients face? A lot of times, our big corporations or clients looking for solutions have internal processes where each solution provider needs to go through like testings, validation, reference sites, and then they don't have the bandwidth to do that for every solution they are interested in. I think two main problems that um, I and my team have identified. First is what are they looking for and how they look for solutions. There is so much prop tech and so much solutions, technological solutions available at the moment. How do you choose which one you need? 
and which one you don't need. The second problem is that um, owners and developers don't necessarily like to pay for those technological solutions, at least yet. So we're looking for this optimum, a solution that works, but also is accretive to the bottom line. How does the proof of concept committee help developers or clients? So the, the developers and the owners who will be working with us um, will go through a pretty intense discussion with us on what are the key pain points? What are they looking for? Have they had any successes or failures with technology? So we just understand what are the exact needs. And then on the other side, we will be working very closely with the product committee to understand, do we have in our portfolio the right technologies to introduce to them? Then once the match, so to speak, is made, we will be um, in this process for the entire time, helping the owners um, to integrate, to understand those technologies, to make sure that connection is going smoothly and really answer any questions. And the second thing that we do at Hong Kong PTA is that we pre-negotiate the proof of concept engagement. What does it mean when they work with this solution provider? What do they get in the proof of concept? Normally it's three months free of services before uh, they adapt and then pay for the solution if it passes the criteria. How can developers or clients benefit? The real estate companies can get access to the best-in-class tech solutions for the entire value stack, basically, of the real estate business and hopefully um, introduce those technologies for the long term in the businesses. The first benefit is basically getting almost a board of advisors on the technology side where it's not just me, it's a whole team of people, both on the client side and on the product side, looking at the best in class solutions and advising those developers on what to implement and why we think this technology is the best for their particular problem. Second um, is basically exposure to those technologies and understanding what's available in the market, what's not available in the market, which solution they might not have even think about until now. And the third, I think, is just broadening their own ecosystem, not just in terms of the tech solutions that they may or may not include in their businesses, but like-minded individuals in the community, like-minded companies in the communities, where they can share ideas how we make real estate more innovative. What is the Proof of Concept Committee's goal? Our goal is to help solution provider find clients and clients to find solution within a very short period of time with the understanding what is the offering on the table before they engage. If you're interested in a Proof of Concept Committee, please reach out to me on LinkedIn or email me if you have my contact, or you can reach out directly to Alex Bent or Ariel Stockman. We at Density have been working very hard to bring you in-depth experts' opinion from all corners of the industry. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon.